Be Still My Beating Heart cocktail for Valentine's Day. I've got some fresh thyme here. I'm gonna start to drink out with some thyme. I'm basically, you can just muddle that at the bottom, bottom of a cocktail shaker. And muddling's kind of fun. You, you take this muddler and you just bang what's in the glass. Um, you don't wanna bang it too much because you will kind of damage the herbs and they won't taste as good, but you just wanna break up some of those uh, capsules on the, the um, skin of the leaves. Now, we're doing, um, I want this to be frothy, this cocktail. So I'm gonna shake it, but I'm going to shake it with egg white. So I've already separated that out. And it's gonna give this a nice, beautiful froth on top, sort of like, I don't know if you've ever had a pisco sour. That, that kind Tell of Tell them a substitute, Han, if some folks are not comfortable yeah, and having raw eggs. If you don't want to use raw egg, you can leave it out altogether. But if you want to still get that frothiness to it, you can use aquafaba or uh, chickpea uh, water, basically. And it will do uh, kind of the exact same thing. So this is, because it's Valentine's Day, we're using uh, this vodka from our friend who we love, Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick, the band. And he gives us this vodka every year. It's called Rockin' Vodka. It's award-winning, it's really good. And uh, I'm using some fresh lemon juice here. And then to balance out the tartness of the lemon juice, I'm going to use this, uh, it's called creme de cassis, which is a black currant liqueur. It's quite sweet, um, but it's gonna give a nice red hue to the drink, tying into the whole Valentine's Day vibe. Now, when you're using egg whites, you gotta, you wanna shake it without ice first. It's called a dry shake, because you wanna start emulsifying those egg whites. And ice will make that harder to do. Uh, emulsification, I guess, doesn't happen when it's cold. Um, but what happens with these egg whites is the frothiness will expand the cocktail shaker and it could pop on you. That's why I keep loosening it up a little bit. Okay, now we can add the ice and chill this down. <clears throat> Shaking is a lot of fun. Um, now I've pre-chilled my, have these nice little antique coops. And I those put- Those are beautiful, I love those. Yeah, I love these too. Before you, you start making the drink, put a little ice and water in them and then they'll be nice and frosty when you make your drink. You can also just store them in the freezer if you have room. So here we go. Yeah, that's nice and frothy. Oh, that really is a pretty color. It looks like Valentine's Day. You know, my sister and Donna uh, would both love that. They love creme de cassis. And then to finish this off, I'm gonna do a little garnish of a drop of Peychaud's bitters on top, because that's red as well. And um, they're bitter from, uh, from New Orleans. You use them in a Sazerac. You can't, in fact, you can't make a Sazerac without Peychaud's bitters. And then just because we have some of these thyme sprigs left over, I'm gonna put that on top. And there you go. Be still my beating heart. I was looking for some more um, edible flowers, but I think we ate them we all. We ate all the edible flowers? <laughs> there you go, hon. Thank you. You're welcome. How beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Cheers, let me. Cheers, cheers to you. Close up.